Good morning out there in the DFS community. It's Vaughn, the Stat Man, coming into your YouTube airwaves, and welcome to the Stat Room. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before I get into the good and the absolutely weird that happened last night at DFS, let me get into my positive word. And my word for today is silly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes in life, we take ourselves way too serious. And sometimes in life, you need to just be silly. I'm talking about just laugh for no reason. Just find a reason to just be silly. Like run around the house in your boxer shorts, you know, because life can beat you down, guys. You know, you have the ups and downs. Sometimes your bills don't get paid. Sometimes you can be homeless. Sometimes you can make a million dollars. Sometimes your kids can piss you off. You just never know, man. Life has so many ups and downs that you have to find reasons to make yourself smile. That's why I think one of the best traits you can have is being silly. Me, I'll laugh at any little thing. Like like my, my little brother. I'm not going to mention his name. But my little brother is very silly. And I absolutely love him for that reason because he could just laugh at anything. And guys, when you can just find a reason to laugh, it makes your life so much easier. Because you can just deal with the BS better than other people. You know, people who are overly serious, they be like, always walking around like this. Don't that how is that how is that healthy? Like it's it's easier on your body, man, when you're just relaxed. Like now, um, if somebody cuts me off, I just I just try to laugh it off. You know, I I'm I used to be really, really hostile with, with um with road rage. Now a guy cut me off, I'm like, wow, he must have been really in a hurry to get to where he need to go. So guys, when when people do stuff to you, man, just let them just let it go and be silly because it's far easier than being angry. All right, I'm going to leave it there with silly. <clears throat> All right, guys. If you played DFS M MLB yesterday, you will agree that it was the weirdest day of the season. It was the first time that I could remember that only one player that was $4,000 or above went yard, and that guy was Trout. Shoop didn't do anything. Judge didn't do anything. Stanton didn't do anything. I mean, I can go down the list. Um... Blackman didn't do anything. Arnaldo didn't do anything. I mean, we can go down the list. Um, Harper didn't do anything. Um, Rendon didn't do anything. Matter of fact, nobody from Washington did anything. It was a weird night. One of my subscribers won all of his head to heads, and he didn't even put up. I gave a lineup that did like 70. It was a little bit less than 70. He won every lineup that he put it in. He won all of his contests. Crafty Lefty is a guy who plays me a lot. Crafty Lefty normally he's solid. He puts up a 120 consistently. I had a 71 yesterday, guys. He had a 77. Now Crafty Lefty is a professional like me. If he's getting a 77 and I'm getting a 77, it was a rough night. He won yesterday. Guys, my best lineup was a 108. I looked at first place and a lot of pools, it was a 140, 150. I mean, because no the, the players who were hitting it. If you had, if you stacked your whole roster with players that were 2,100 to 3,100, then you probably got a 200. Because the players that were over 3,000, they just did not show up. I mean, Milwaukee's guy who did the best was AC. I mean, he was the first baseman. He cracked a home run. He was 2,300. I mean, I go to that list. Peralta from Arizona had a, a two run RBI. I mean, he was 2,100. I mean, guys, we can go down the list. I've never had a bad day like this. But all right, guys, since I feel bad that it was so rough, I'm going to give everybody a winning four horsemen today. We're going to go with Tillman. I know y'all laughing at me. The Oreos are on a roll. The pitcher they're facing, they're going to destroy him. I'm taking Tillman, Manchado, Shoop, and Mancini. All right, guys, so you know what happens when I have an off night, guys. I tear it up. And actually, it wasn't an off night because if you had 100, you won every lineup. If you had 100, you made a lot of money yesterday. 100 would have killed. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave it there. I am on to today. Guys, don't forget to win-win. Give people what they want so you can get what you want. And, guys, think and ink. Write it down so it can come true. All right, guys, so enjoy your day. And we are going to be on fire today. Love y'all.